There are two faces of God presented throughout the Bible. At one point, He is represented by the meek sheep. At other times, He is presented as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. In the Bible, we find the metaphor of a calm wind that represents it. But we also find the same God as a fire that consumes. These two very distinct faces of God show their relationship with the sin and with the sinner. If by one side He loves the sinner with all His strength, on the other, He abhors sin with the same intensity. In chapter 18 of the book of Jeremiah, God presents Himself as the great potter who is able to repair a broken vessel. In chapter 19, the scene appears reversed. He asks the prophet to buy a vase and then go to the entrance of the city. From verse 10, we read the command of God to Jeremiah. Then you shall break the flask in the sight of the men who go with you, and say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Even so I will break this people and this city, as one breaks a potter's vessel, which cannot be made whole again. When Jeremiah's chapters 18 and 19 are placed side by side, two complementary truths are realized. The same God who repairs the vessel that is broken is the same as breaking the vessel that is in sin without remorse. These are two truths that need to be taken very seriously. The potter is only one, but his work depends on the type of vase that stands before him. We like to hear only about the potter who restores, but we need to remember the potter who breaks too. Let me conclude with a thought that is not very popular in today's pulpits, but it is very clear truth in the Bible. God's love is infinite, but His grace is not. For every human being, there's a time of opportunity, but one day it will end. If you would allow me to give you some advice today, I would advise you not to play with the opportunities that arise in your life. After all, we never know how much time we still have on the great clock of divine grace.